first right now, breaking news of the hour. Governor McMaster deciding the fate of schools in South Carolina. He wrapped up that press conference just about 30 minutes ago. Let's go ahead and turn it over to Richard Duvain. He's live in South Carolina for us yeah. this morning. Uh, so, Richard, it looks like South Carolina is going a very different path than North Carolina, basically guaranteeing if parents want it, you can have your kid in school five days a week. Yeah, absolutely. That is the big takeaway. You can have your kids in school, or as Governor McMaster said, you can also have them home doing e-learning. He said he's going to leave that choice up to parents. School districts will have to fall in line to have a plan. As a matter of fact, he wants all the districts to submit a plan, and he said he will not accept any plans that don't have parent choice involved in them. Now, as we look at video, he made this announcement some 30 minutes ago at his news conference where he was joined by the leaders of the state, the Senate, and the uh, House of Representatives representatives as well as other folks he spoke about the importance of in face-to-face -face in school education how it's important for parents to know that their students can go to a safe environment as well as if they have to see at home if they want that he wants What's that option open for them? But he also said it's important for everyone to know that he didn't want to make an executive decision to rule on this. He said he's going to leave it up to the school districts, but he did add one caveat. He said basically he will not accept any plan that does not have parents' choice involved in it. Listen to this. Schools must have in-class, face-to-face teaching so these children do not fall behind. Ladies and gentlemen, if they fall behind, just in this one period, they may never catch up, and we may have a generation lost to their educational opportunities. And State Senator Harvey Peeler also added during that press conference, that news conference, the virtual learning experiment got an A for effort, but the results were a D. He says the data is telling us in mathematics, students have lost a complete year. And in English, they've lost a complete semester. So you're starting from scratch in mathematics for second grade students going into third grade. That was just an example that he gave. But of course, e-learning is available for any student whose parents want it. But McMaster says it's very important that they do this because ultimately they want it for the parents. He also mentioned that he was going to move back the start day of class until after Labor Day. That way parents as well as schools will have an opportunity to know which students, will, what students will be doing what and also to align things like school lunch, bus schedules and also class, class sizes. Of course, there's a lot more to unpack, but we're going to be continue to be looking into that news conference and have a lot more for you throughout the day. Right now, we're outside of Catawba High School here in York County. Richard Devane, WCNC Charlotte. Uh, he says e-learning is available to anybody who wants it, any family that wants it, but even he alluded to the fact that there, there are a bunch of families right now in South Carolina that don't have internet access. I, I, I mean, he alluded to the fact that the state is currently working to address that, but I mean, that's going to be a problem in South Carolina. That's going to be a problem in North Carolina. That's going to be a problem across the, there. We forget there are still lots of families that don't have internet access. How are they going to possibly e-learn? Yeah, that is one of the things they're going to have to address. Again, that looks like it's going to be something that school districts will have to work on. Of course, and we've seen just since this whole COVID-19 situation happened, that while there were efforts made, a lot of students were falling behind the gaps. That's something that we're going to continue to monitor and try and give families some information and some important answers on how and when they can get access if they don't have it. Sure, and you know, possibly the bright spot of, of offering the in-person learning that some of those students will be able to go do that instead. Uh, I know that's certainly the hope there in South Carolina. Richard, thank you.